You know, we're getting better. It's short strides. We're not taking that long stride. I was hoping we would right off the bat, but uh, I can tell we've improved. Like we talked about early this year, we really need to improve our depth, and I think we're getting closer to being able to play more guys. I'm excited to see what we can do the next two weeks, and really come Friday when we scrimmage, I'm excited to see that. Uh, we still got a ways to go yet. We we weren't we're not where I was hoping we'd be at this time. Is it you know last year you played you know a couple young guys but didn't get them in the mix as much as you would have hoped? How are some of those guys kind of progressing? Is, is are those the guys you're kind of alluding to? You know those those sophomores that were true freshmen last yeah, year? Yeah, you know I think Chase Atata has come along very well. Emmanuel is another kid that played some last year. He's still got a ways to go yet, and. Uh, you know, he plays one of the toughest positions on the field, playing that nose guard position. And he, he's so used to being able to overpower people with his size, and he can't do that anymore. So we're continuing to work with him. He's got to come on. I think Yodi's come on pretty good, uh, playing some good ball for us. And Daniel, Daniel Alua, is, he's, he's gotten better. So it's just the consistency. We're not as consistent as what we would like to be at this time. Is it tough trying to find, you know, you ideally want eight or nine guys to rotate in and out. Is it tough to find enough that the drop-off doesn't become that difficult? Yeah, that's really a tough deal, Bob. You, I mean, to not see a significant drop-off, then you know you're pretty good. I mean, you can go back to three years ago where we were almost able to play three deep and you didn't see a lot of drop-off, and that's obviously when we played at some of our very best defense since we've been here. And that's what we got to get to. Any time that you, I can play too deep, and you don't see a lot of difference, then we're going to be pretty good. How much of an important piece is David Moa, the fact that it seems like he moves into maybe a more natural position, and he's obviously been a guy that you guys have, have you know, relied on a lot. Well, and he, you know, David's leadership on the field is big for us. Just he brings energy to it because he does make plays, and yeah, we do rely on him a lot. He's, he helps get everybody set, and he kind of motivates them. Him and uh, I think Louie's doing a good job with some of those things. He and Durant both. Those first three guys, you know, they know they got a ways to go yet. David's probably, well, not probably, he is the best one of the three. And then, you know, those other two guys have got to catch up to his game. And when they do that, we'll be, uh, we'll be closer to where we want to be. You look at that defense as a whole and who you guys lost from last year, all three spots, like a McCaskill and then some of those linebackers, and Chance James and Moxie. I mean, how, a lot of fans maybe are a little worried about this. Uh, a lot of young guys stepping into key roles here. How do you, you know, as a coach, look at this, this de- the makeup of this defense? Well, it's definitely a challenge for us as a defense and as for other coaches. But, you know, I think these kids will step up to the challenge. I mean, when you look at it, we lost every linebacker we got, really, that played very much. And then, you know, like you're talking about, the guys in the secondary, we lost two guys up front. And my whole point to my guys is it starts up front. And if we're going to be any good at all for those young linebackers, we gotta, we got to play great up front. And that's, that's the whole point. What's going to be different about this group maybe compared to, to last year's group? Well, hopefully I think they're young. They're, you know, they're at fire. They're ready to go play. And even the, the guys behind them. I think we'll end up playing, like I said, more guys, more snaps than we did last year. Is that, is that a relief to you? Because, you know, you, you trusted – he trusted Moa and Sam a lot, but obviously it was, sometimes it was maybe to a, bit, a bit of a detriment. Yeah, it was. We had to play them way too much. You know, it seemed like, it, and we've had this conversation before. Every time right. we put the second group in there, we gave up some yards or gave up a touchdown. So, you know, that's very frustrating, letting a team back in the game. We got to get to the point where we can close them out, and whether the, it's the second defense line in there or the first D line. We got to be able to close the game out. I mean, you haven't necessarily played in the game yet, but uh, seeing Moa, you touched on it, but seeing Moa line up in that different spot, I mean, have you, have you noticed a difference in practice or, or anything like that? Well, it, it's hard to tell a lot of difference. You know, he made a lot of plays for us last year at the nose guard position. And you're right, it's more natural for him to be a, you know, tackle. And he's doing the same thing there for us right now. I'm going to, we just got to take it to the game in two weeks, right? And see how it works out there. It, it's hard for me to tell, but he does, he looks good there. He's, uh, he's doing some of the same things he did at nose guard. So if he continues to grow, he's, he can make some plays for us. Getting back to depth at that position, how many of 
teams in the country have enough that they can rotate in two full groups? I mean, what you're talking about, it's, it's pretty rare, isn't it? No, I, well, I think everybody tries to do that. You know, there, you like we talked about earlier, you're hoping there's not a big drop off mm -hmm. that you can't tell a big difference. But sometimes it's tough to get those guys. I mean, you just go right back to last year. You know, it was tough for us to do that. And uh, D lineman's probably the hardest position in the country to find. <laughs> those guys that can play the game the way you want it played. You said maybe you're not quite where you wanted to be at this point. I know you're guys to be never fully satisfied, but uh, what, what areas maybe are you needing to see get well, better here before we, We've got to just do a great job keeping our pad leverage down. We got some taller guys, some lanky guys in there. And we're just we're not doing a good enough job getting down behind our pads at this point and playing the run. And our number one goal on defense is to stop the run. And so we got to do a better job with our pad leverage, getting off the blocks and making plays. I think what well, I know what I was more disappointed in the first scrimmage was we wasn't that productive for those two reasons. We weren't playing with good enough pad leverage yet, and we're not getting off blocks well enough yet. And that's my job to get it done. You, you mentioned two weeks 